Hello dear friends not allies, but friends, we friends of humanity, friends with the people of Earth. I am rather stressed out at the increase of extraterrestrial hatred that has been on the increase. Including the increasing misinformation and spread of fear about star people, or Elohim on how you name them, as star people are Elohim which means, those that come from the stars, which is more respectable than the politically correct aliens. They are not aliens, or alien monsters like you see in Hollywood movies. I have also grown a concern about a specific subscriber Daniel Oftoria YouTube channel which I was subscribed to. I had decided to unsubscribe and protest against this new growing hatred and stupidity that does not help humanity as a whole, particularly under the circumstances of radiation leakage from Fukushima which would end life in the next 30 years or 20 years depending on how people work to fix things up which is almost irreversible as compared to humanity's chemical waste from fossil fuels and non-biosymbiotic technology used in industry. From observation, I have seen little or no improvement with the radiation spreading. There has been one observed attempt of using HARP technology to neutralize the radiation, and nothing more. Governments around Asia, USA, Korea and keeping the seriousness of radiation secret, watching people get sick and die, and the ecology and life of the planet ruined, mutated and destroyed, making Earth wasteland. I was disturbed, shocked, that not only having to deal with the David Icke Tards and his reptilian anti-extraterrestrial hogwash, and others, this to me is like the cherry on the top, that if I think too long on it, without even voicing my thoughts and concerns for the survival of life and not only humanity of this planet, I suffer from anxiety and panic attacks knowing that life here is a prison. Knowing that life on other planets is better and more diverse on the planets with communities capable of interstellar space travel, whereas a ET hybrid earthling I feel trapped here. Allies of humanity exists only to worsen the anti-extraterrestrial fascism and global nationalism of an international dictator worse than existing bully called the US, something like Darth Vader, the person whose channel I subscribed to seems to have joined a cult called the Allies of Humanity. A hate-inspired wartime or war-promoting propaganda generated as a political agenda or and a religious agenda called the new message from God to confuse and create misunderstanding of intelligent life in the universe through infinity. Thus giving the perception of life in this universe brain to mirror that of the social life and evils which exist on this planet in its political religious dilemma. The Allies of Humanity enforces the perception of the ET intervention as being negative and illustrated as being invasive as expressed in most Hollywood alien invasion fictional films, that the extraterrestrials come here for sinister purposes of exploiting the local people of this planet and its life and resources. Their outlook and perception of advanced peoples in the universe is based on the reflection on how live exists on this prison planet called Earth. This basically is a giveaway for it being total bullshit, which is saying that extraterrestrials generally, if capitalistic inclined would invade Earth for economic purposes as corporations, and if they are socialistic inclined, they would invade Earth for occupation, ownership by military fashion. This is totally untrue to the truth of extraterrestrials capable of interstellar space travel. Here is my information to support my opinion. First of all, the technology or the production of energy in all flying saucer-based technology, mechanic or biological work on zero-point energy production. A basic flying saucer anti-gravity engine, if taken apart, would easily make a free energy generator from its sub-components. Economics and money is reliable on non-renewable energy. This technology exists on Earth and your governments in the first world countries as you say sit on this technology so they can control you and milk your lives, working as slaves. I don't understand why they do this, is it ego? Why do they hold so much lust to their economy and currency? It is not the natural way of the cosmos. 
when a planet is capable of producing zero point energy and anti gravity warp like engines, either inventing or reinventing it from other inhabitants within the universe, it would normally focus on this and not hog it or hide it. The reliance on the non renewable energy resources would decline, allowing the focus on developing technology which would take over the reliance of economy and more on individual well-being and happiness. For example, if the hidden and suppressed technology was given to the people on this planet and not hidden in secrecy in the realms of the military-industrial complex, the energy would be free, and transport would become cheap pending borders and boundaries and countries, thus businesses in general would sprout, the economy would rise as a lot of the reason of recession experienced on this planet is focused on energy from fossil fuels and nuclear power. This would enable the acceleration in technology, to the point that money or even an economic system would render itself obsolete, as the technology would reach the point of replicating goods, and every individual would be capable of producing their own products from existing designs and from their own created designs like you see in Star Trek for example. These actually exist and are in development on your planet and are in the field of nanotechnology, but kept secret or hushed up, because one can directly copy bank notes and coins. So this planet is capable changing the system into a paradismic www.paradism.org society, but governments and the so-called ruling elite don't wish this to happen, which boggles my mind and makes me pain because of their stupidity. Now that you know you have an idea what technology the extraterrestrial creators, bioengineers and designers, of humanity and occasional visitors have in their possession, what could they possibly want from humanity or even this planet and its natural resources? The allies of humanity has a negative outlook of technology and claim it will not provide humanity with freedom, being free like the other extraterrestrials with advanced technology, free energy, no economy or money, space travel and the freedom to create. This obviously shows that these proclaimed messages originated from this planet and not from the far reaches of the galaxy as stated or even our neighboring inhabited solar system. Technology is to be developed and focused on being everlasting, self-renewing and have a symbiotic relationship for all life on the planet. Because the technology of society of this planet is backward and primitive, it is bound to be messy and hazardous to the environment especially when most objects are designed with the concept obsolescence, in other words designed to buy and throw away producing waste to the environment and not coexisting symbiotically with the environment, life forms, and life cycles. Extraterrestrials with economic motive perception is a joke and complete idiocy and would make science fiction other than science fact. This concept would only drive humanity into a new dark age slash middle ages if they wish to eliminate science and technology, and keep religious texts, this would be your true great to darkness, where the only books that would help humanity become independent and evolve from this dark age would be the alien messages. If it was not for technology you would not be interacting with the planet and spreading your allies of humanity, new message from God books that are worth the value and function of toilet paper, or part of my cooking, water boiling kit survival kit in the aftermath of a false flag fake alien invasion which this movement is discreetly supporting. It would support the weaponization of space, and an earth empire to conquer the galaxy like Hitler dreamed of. I support the due weaponization of space and peace and friend of humanity, not an ally a typical military-industrial complex term. The only reason why extraterrestrials would intervene would be for friendship, family reunion co-creation of life, love, prosperity, exploration, fun, enjoyment, happiness and help. They would provide contact or even on the basis on the general average statistic of the population of people on this planet and the positive perception and love towards extraterrestrials. 
The extraterrestrial intervention is only available and the help is only provided on the statistical overall average of the people of this planet's perception towards extraterrestrials and the understanding of them, for the safety of the extraterrestrials due to the violent and volatile nature to the local people of this planet. This is perhaps the reason why I may not have been taken up and away, but to observe things and perhaps alert people on the production of misinformation that would isolate the humanity of this planet, and quarantine themselves from the rest of the galaxy and beyond, and perhaps destroy themselves in their own political religious dilemmas. As well as the stronghold of the industrial military complex that exists on this planet, thus creating the false flag assumption that star people slash et apostrophe s slash elohim are the terrorists. They also give a negative impression and have ideas of discrimination towards hybrid slash ets like myself and assumption for making us appear as an invasive force to dominate and have dominion over this planet, which is entirely wrong. They have no understanding of the true origins of humanity of this planet, and the patchwork of the hybrid program consists of genetic updates and improvements to alleviate the errors caused by original downgrades and cutdowns to simplify the human life biology on the basis of aesthetics. Unfortunately this has caused major social separation of genders and sexual and gender discrimination where the male gender which contains the downgraded chromosome has caused decay of consciousness with its emphasis focused on war, economy, religion, racism, dogma and the lack of functioning relationship and functioning between the rational and creative mind in human beings, as humanity were originally hermaphrodites. Allies of humanity and the new message from God, though they may appear positive, and look good on the outside, is but rotten for a more sinister motive, promoting ET's xenophobia, in the very same way religions express false enlightenment. But once you know the truth and deception of world leaders, their false promises and inflicted and enforced pain of political and religious control enforced on humanity, and experienced the existence of extraterrestrials physically and in person, one has a better perception, and does not use assume and make a profit imagining the existence of star people aka Elohim. Allies of Humanity expresses a political agenda is supported by the minority 1% elite, to toss in confusion, and lower the general population average positive perception, trust and openness towards extraterrestrials, where, the other acts in a more religious I prefer not to state spiritual. Thus providing ignorance, or trap for those who truly wish to discover what God is and what exists under the God label, thus preventing the inquisitiveness of people who think and wonder to discover the inner workings of things, the universe and everything, which prevent people to think any further than, the enforced God label which is regularly described as a male-dominating grouchy male entity, and not cosmic consciousness that comes from within. Where the truth is, there is no God. Dot. Dot. But those who believe there is one, is only confronting and seeing the censorship label, over the hidden things that they don't want you to see. Friends of humanity are here for love, peacemaking and prosperity. Allies of humanity are here for keeping borders and boundaries and separation. Allies only exist with the existence of boundaries and separation and term often associated with the industrial military complex. Countries are only allies for commercial and war purposes, and keep separation, with borders and boundaries. Industrial military complex has lasted for centuries. Earth's civilization is built on it particularly from Rome, perhaps why the strong religious association. Industrial, commerce slash economics slash money, military, wars slash battles slash fighting slash violence slash money slash commerce, most deception on this planet, is created not for the benefit of humanity but for money purposes as well as political agendas, thus people who come on the scene proclaiming they are saviors of humanity, are just doing it to make a profit, 
and earn a living on the ignorance of the majority, or to lure people into a particular mindset to stir up a war which would be of commercial asset on a large scale. When will this madness ever end? I have a feeling, with people awakening, humanity can no longer be asked with, but are prone to deception by dynamic revolutionary movements. Allies humanity, enforce Earth to be discreet with their interactions in space read by a mouthpiece on their video who does not even know what discreet means. Discreet, constituting a separate entity or part, a government with three discreet divisions, on two distinct occasions thus supports the weaponization of space. They also promote secrecy and assumptions that exist in the current system and the ideology spells out as a misinformation propaganda campaign that would be used to support the fake invasion false flag, where the war is not with extraterrestrials but of industrial military complex organic robots that look like extraterrestrials piloting reverse engineered UFO technology scavenged from shot down visitors of the past. Secrecy and assumptions that would only make an ass out of myself and yourselves. As an official ET hybrid, I find it was offensive, hurtful, and ignorant to assume that we humanet hybrids exist to take over and rule and take the planet for economic purposes. I did not ask to be here, and if your statement was true I would be a banker, an employee of the industrial military complex and I would have chosen to be here on this planet, but I did not, but was placed here, as an observer, an experiment. I myself struggle to survive and live in an economic dominated society, as I do not understand economy, money, bureaucracy, policy, all I know is how to create, discover and invent. I don't know how I manage to get by on a day-to-day -day basis in the current paradigm of this planet, from observing this, I have truly discovered why I am here from information from my star mother Anonena, the information of the Rillian movement, the information from the majority of the starseed community, the information from the light workers and individual positive spiritual non-religious people including Carol Rosine who gave clues and motives of the hidden agendas of industrial military complex, when they have run out of false flag terrorists from countries, whom I all thank all combined shows the objectives of the allies of humanity as false doctrine, fear inserting, warmongering movement, I am here to help people be aware of this issue, please spread what I have to say virally and I do not want credit for this information as it is irrelevant. Much love and huggles from a friend of humanity, Namast. There isn't any real need to change things just for the sake of changing. There isn't any real, real need, 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 need to change things that they control. There, 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 real, real need to change things just for the sake of, of respect. Rewriting, recreating the same old programs over and over and over and over. Big control.